What's up guys? Pogey Pete back here. And today we got some exciting news going on. Uh, it is April 2nd and Lugia is gone. But this guy, Latios is here guys. So Latios and Latios just got released today. About to hop into this Latios raid. They are going to be regional raids similar to the legendary dogs when they first came out. So in my area, North America, we got Latios. So this is the first one we're going to do. Now, Latios is going to be a dragon psychic type Pokemon. So your counters, you're going to want to use other dragon types. You can use ice types. You can use bug types. You can use dark types. You can use fairy types. You can use ghost types. You can use a, a lot of different types. But the best counters are definitely going to be the other dragons. Uh, Rayquaza, Salamence, Dragonite specifically are going to be the best counters. Tyranitar is not a terrible counter. You can use a Shadow Ball Mewtwo is not a terrible counter. There's you got some options. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the squad that I hope to three-man this with. So just so you guys know, Latios and Latias are both going to be three-manable. So that's that's pretty cool. So, my squad, when we're going to do that, is going to be a couple 40 Rayquazas, a couple 40 Dragonites, a 35 Rayquaza. And I'm, like, up in the air between a level 40 Titar or a level 40 Shadow Ball Mewtwo right now. We'll, we'll see what happens when we get to that, that point. I don't know when we're going to get to it. It would be cool if we could get to it on day one. So, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll squad up with some of my friends later and try to get the three-man done day one. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We'll, we'll find out. But right now... Latios is here. Latios is somewhere else. Europe, maybe. But I don't care about that. Latios is here. So, we did get a shiny Lugia before they were gone. So, that was awesome. I believe shiny Latios and Latias are also in the game, guys. Just so you know. Pretty sure I, I read that earlier. Now, uh, 2082 is going to be perfect for Latios when it is not weather boosted, which is what I've got right here. So that's going to be the number we're looking for. And with 10 people in here, we're knocking it down really quick. So this is good. And guys, it, it is a really exciting time to be playing Pokemon Go right now. You know, we just got the quest system, which has been awesome. It's been getting people out playing. I'm loving the rewards for it. So that is super, super fun. I haven't got my Mew yet. I know some of you guys probably have Mew already. I don't have mine yet. When I catch it, that'll be a lot of fun. I've seen some gameplay. It's invisible in the AR mode. It looks really, really cool. So we got that going on. On top of that, we just got new legendaries. Latios, Latias are out right now. New legendaries are always fun. On top of the new legendaries, we did get some other new raid bosses as well, which is pretty cool. And Latios down there, guys. Ten people took it down with over 200 seconds on the clock still. Remember, we're looking for 2082. I did not get that. That's all right, though. 10 berries, 3 candies, 12 potions, 500 dust, 20,000 KXP. Always nice to see. And there we go. Team Instinct doing the business, as we always do. GG Team Instinct. Let's put this guy down. You know, 2032, it's not really a good one. Let's go ahead and pineapple this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it off right. First Latios raid, let's start it off with a pineapple berry. Why not? This is what we got to do. But, uh... So guys, yeah, some of those other raids that came out, uh, in the one star raid, we will now have Duskull and Shuppet. That's pretty cool because one, it's a good shiny check for both of them. And two, in the quest system, some of you guys might be struggling to catch some ghost types. Well, we got some ghost types. And on top of that, their ghost types are being released because they are counters for this guy, Latios, right here. So, uh, in the two-star raids, we also got Sneasel, which is a Dark Ice type, and uh, Mischievous, another Ghost-type Pokemon. The Tier 3, Pinsir was added, which, pretty cool, I guess, uh, and Granbull was also added. So, those are two more three-stars that I'm excited about because that's new solo material for me, new stuff that I can go out and do and new stuff to try. Uh, and then in the four star raids, it looks like we got Whale Rain and Houndoom. And in the proper conditions with the proper movesets, both of those are two manable. So me and a couple buddies have already talked about it. We're excited to try that. So hopefully we can get some of those done soon. 
So there's just, you know, it's a really good time to be playing this game. It's a really good time to go out there, socialize, check out these new quests. You know, they, even if you already have a Mew, they still have the other quests that we can do. And you can do as many as you can in a day, which is pretty awesome, I think. I mean, like, I've been getting a lot of extra Stardust that way. And, you know, that you encounter some cool Pokemon, too. Like, earlier today, I encountered an Electabuzz, which, I mean, yeah, it's just an Electabuzz, but... I don't really see many Electabuzz where I live. Electabuzz is a very rare Pokemon where I live. So I thought that, like, getting that random Electabuzz encounter was pretty cool. So, I'm enjoying the quest system. I hope you guys are enjoying the quest system. I'm not enjoying catching this Latios. It is, it is being bought. I'm, oh, that was just a bad throw. Maybe I shouldn't Pineapp it. Maybe I should, maybe I should go to Golden Berries. It is the first one. I kind of want to get it in the decks. I want to have a good catch rate on this guy. I, oh, I thought we got it. I thought we had it right there. You know what? I'm going to switch to Golden Berries. I want to try to put this guy down. we got four throws left. We can we can do some work. And this guy moves around a lot, guys. I mean, the, the throw is not terrible, but he moves around a lot. We'll get it down in a couple. A couple raids, we'll have it down, I'm sure. This one, it, it doesn't look like we're going to catch this one. That's all right, though. But, I mean, yeah, guys. It's just it's a really exciting time right now. I mean, new legendaries. New raids, new solos to do, no new duos to do, quest system, I'm still grinding, trying to catch a Mew, you know, let me know where you guys are in that too, let me know if you guys already have a Mew, or let me know if you guys are, what step you're on, currently I am on step 5, uh, I've got 3 of my ghost type Pokemon down, and I am still looking for Ditto, I've already got my 20 great throws, that's no problem, but, gotta find that Ditto man, I mean, I heard Ditto, Spawn rates have been, you know, increased and stuff. I don't have one yet. That's all right, though. Well, I'm sure we'll find a ditto with these new raids. And, you know, it's about to be nighttime where I'm at. So I'm, I'm sure we can get some ghost types. Hopefully we can get Mew later this week. That's what I'd, I'd really like to get Mew before I have to go back to work on Friday. I think that would be awesome. I really want to play with that, like, in a little invisible mode in the AR. I think that looked pretty cool. So I'm excited for that. Uh... Guys, also, Shiny Murkrow is in the game. I'm not sure if everybody saw that already, knows that already, but Shiny Murkrow is, in fact, in the game. So, you know, if you guys were going to, like, pass up on those Murkrows, maybe maybe instead of passing up on them, just go ahead and Shiny check them. You don't have to catch them, but you can at least Shiny check them. I usually see a Murkrow, and, oh, it dipped out on us. That's all right. I usually see a Murkrow and just ignore it, but now I might catch them. Might at least look at them. But yeah, guys, that's that's going to wrap it up. That's all we got. We got new legendaries, new raid bosses, quests, shiny Murkrow,